if Russia goes ahead and they feel so boxed in that they use chemical or biological weapons or, God forbid, a tactical nuclear weapon on the battlefield, what exactly does the West do at this point? Remember, it was Barack Obama who drew red line against using chemical weapons in Syria only to back off wildly from that red line as soon as Assad used chlorine gas in Syria and he just handed over the entire place to the Russians. So if you're Vladimir Putin, you feel totally boxed in. Do you just go for broke here? I mean, you already went into Ukraine. You've already lost thousands of troops, more than the entire Western losses during the Afghanistan and Iraq war, probably. So there have been recommendations what the West actually should do here is station troops in Western Ukraine. Now, Western Ukraine has not been taken over by the Russians. There's been really no Russian activity. So if you station NATO troops there, then you basically say to Putin, listen, if you cross this particular line, you're going to start killing NATO troops. And at that point, we have to get directly involved. The problem with setting a red line with regard to chemical or biological weapons is that if Putin uses them, are you willing to go to full-scale boots-on-the-ground war with Vladimir Putin? This is, the, this is the real question for the West right now. 